Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing Uranus in Gemini. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Uranus and Gemini people have developed a whole new way of looking at things. These people have learned to question things early in life and to support their own independence by learning how to say no as one of their first words in this life. These people have a free thinking philosophy on life and have a restlessness concerning everything, but in particular, the education system. Uranus and Gemini people are not prepared to accept things the way they are without question questioning the validity of all arguments and whether or not they should be kept that way. If they find things to be outdated, they have no hesitation whatsoever in changing them, but perhaps they might have second thoughts afterwards. This is because they are uncertain whether the change is actually in the right direction or not. These people are also ready to leap at opportunities, especially for further personal independence, occasionally at the expense of clear-cut morality. These people need a fair amount of change in their lives to keep them happy, and they love to travel and to learn from all the different learning ventures available. Uranus and Gemini people are usually original thinkers. They learned at a very early age that it is possible to fit many concepts together into inventive new forms. Boredom never needs to be a part of their life. The problem area for these people is that in exploring so many different directions at once tends to cause disagreement with just about everything, everything, as all the diverging ideas rush in on their minds. So it's very important for these people to learn to concentrate their ideas and to see one thing through before rushing off on another tangent or else they may develop an inconsistency and avoidance and get frustrated by it, not to mention the unsettling effect this buzzing around can have on the more peaceful types around them. Uranus and Gemini people are highly original, versatile, and intuitive. They like science, especially if it has anything to do with aviation, electricity, or other related pursuits. These people are progressive and broad-minded by nature, and they like to pioneer modern methods. Uranus and Gemini people can be popular and well-liked, or be eccentric and a nuisance to others. They can also be a liability or be accident-prone. Uranus and Gemini people tend to be strongly drawn to the study of astrology and other occult studies. They are naturally gifted with languages and may, att may attract unusual friends who are involved in the arts and sciences. They may have some complications with their education, resulting in not completing their degrees, which may cause unfavorable reviews of their work in later life. This stemming from the fact that they like to flit from one subject to another and have difficulty making a final choice of majors in college. Uranus and Gemini people are logical and love to study. They would make an excellent communicator or writer about scientific subjects, logicians or electric electronics experts. Unusual phenomena and topics attract them as well. These people very often just like change for change sakes. These people understand how to promote change to others, though, though it, they, through it they attempt to remain logical and rational. It may backfire on them. These people need to create a more intuitive form of communication rather than a purely intellectual one. Uranus and Gemini people may be restless and so may move frequently. They also enjoy puzzles and casual conversation when they relax. These people have the ability to grasp new concepts with ease and they're communicative and communicate them intellectually with others. They are not afraid to make noise to get their point across either. They like to study the science of communication, whether it, it be in psychology, sociology, or metaphysics. 
Uranus and Gemini people may actually shock others by putting forth strange ideas that others find socially unacceptable. They, this, they can lead the way to social change for some people, just like it did in the 1960s. The peace movements and other social changes were all fueled by the, those born with Uranus and Gemini through the 1940s, during and after World War II. When negatively expressed, the Uranus and Gemini person may be so lacking in vital force and energy that they seldom manage to get their own way. They are likely to be the victim of others making or spreading scandalous claims about them, with the intention of damaging their reputations and be unable to clear their names of the rumors. When negatively expressed, friendships with dubious people may damage their reputations, and they can be prone to unexpected difficulties, including things like the loss of baggage, which can beset them whenever they travel. When negatively expressed, happiness at home may also always elude them, and they may be forced to change their profession or bring, having to bring themselves up to date in their field in later years. When negatively expressed, Uranus and Gemini people are likely to be disorganized in their thoughts and unable to sustain a logical argument for long. When positively expressed, the Uranus and Gemini person is a super active and inspired thinker. Their minds are especially suited for advanced scientific studies. They can understand the most abstract ideas from atomic fission to the intricacies of the computer with ease. But that is not the whole story. They also have the potential to expand these fields of knowledge by contributing new and original ideas. They make excellent logicians and can be a first-class theorist in any branch of the sciences, or they can become an incredible and versatile writer. Uranus and Gemini people have incredible minds, but they are not the kind of person who can get much done physically. They much prefer to work in their minds at lightning speed. Ideas flash into their consciousness like magic, giving them insights and solutions to all sorts of problems, some of which don't even concern them personally at that time. These people have an extraordinary and perceptive intellectual capacity that keeps producing advanced and novel thoughts. Uranus and Gemini people need to find a suitable profession or occupation that will allow them to use their brilliant intellects, intellectual capabilities, although they could get a reputation for a, being a bit eccentric. Their views may be too radical, revolutionary, and ultra-modern for most normal people to accept. It is not unusual for people born with Uranus and Gemini to be considered eccentric. One of the reasons for this is that they have unusual ways of expressing themselves. These people are very intelligent and often too frank without meaning to cause offense. These people have the capacity to appreciate several points of view simultaneously and in disputes quickly perceive an acceptable compromise. Writing is really good for these people because it enables them to get their ideas across in a logical form and to anticipate and answer conservative opinion, which usually opposes them. Uranus and Gemini people have an aptitude for the psychic scientists, sciences, and ESP, and given the chance, can write on these subjects with great intellectual flair. These people have the natural aptitude for the art of communication in all of its forms. All they have to do is to find the role that suits them best in this life. Their versatility and clever minds can, can convey ideas in ingenious and interesting ways. They have great ability in the teaching professions or as musicians, lawyers, public speakers, lecturers, or popular commentators on scientific subjects. They have a flair for languages and would be very good as an interpreter. Uranus and Gemini people enjoy travel and meeting new people. They usually gravitate towards the intellectual type and have many friends that are radical and often have extreme views. Literary and scientific people are among their closest friends. They have a sympathetic understanding of social reformers 
and most of the ordinary subjects attract their attention sooner or later. Uranus and Gemini people have probably had to adapt to a number of abrupt changes in their life. Very often, there have been many moves of res residence that could have disrupted their formal education, or circumstances may have prevented them from making a normal start in a profession or occupation. These people have a very strong desire to study and learn, which may only be fulfilled in their adult years. Uranus and Gemini people may find that although they are intellectually superior to the bulk of their rivals, they can't seem to secure the recognition they actually deserve because of educational drawbacks. As a result of this, their professional advancement will probably be jeopardized by this deficiency. Uranus and Gemini people often have problems with their relatives, which can escalate to complete estrangements from their relatives. This is especially true of brothers and sisters. Neighbors can also be a source of trouble and unhappiness, with letters, telephone calls, and gossip producing really bad effects in their lives. I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different video playlists, so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.